Hi, my name is Andrew Sears, and I'm the president of City Vision University, and I'm really excited about this Wounded Healers course. It's something we've put probably more effort into our Wounded Healers program and course um, than, than anything we've done to date. And um, we believe that it can make a big difference in our students, and a lot of our students and a lot of our partners have asked for this. So um, the, this course, um, so what are the course outcomes? After completing this course, you should be able to um, we're going to start off describing your journey as a wounded healer and reflect on your recovery journey to take proactive approach to recovery. So that's in week one. And then most of the course is going to be going through to develop a long-term, what we call a holistic plan for life balance and relapse prevention after completing an addiction recovery workbook covering the following components. So healing from stress, trauma in the past is what we're going to do in week two. Addressing negative thought patterns and renewing your mind is in week three. Fostering skills and habits for improving emotional regulation is in week four. Developing healthy relationships and support networks, week five. And improving physical self-care and avoiding high-risk situations in week six. And then in week seven, implementing lifestyle changes and boundaries for self-care. And the the plan is in week eight you would kind of combine all those in, into uh, your final project and you'll be working on your final project as you go through the course and the course outline just kind of covers what i, I just described there um, but part of what you got to realize about this course is a lot of courses so you know in christian circles we often talk about the head the heart and the hands and even in learning circles you talk about that um, and you know th this comes from mark 12 30 love the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Um, and a lot of academic learning is really focused on the head. So the focus of this course is more on changing recovery and self-care habits. So that's going to be the heart and the hands, um, then learning about recovery and self-care in, in the head. So you're going to be do, doing some learning, but we want to, it's really about, you know, change. Um, so in, in learning circles, you know, the, the heart is called effective learning. So I'm going to use an example of Christian faith. And um, whenever you do learning design, you have to, you kind of have this foundation. So the receiving level of learning is that's just compliant. So it might be where you attend church or you participate in a course. Um, and this is on the heart level. Um, so responding is where say you're actively learning about Jesus in your own time and you commit to practice or continually learn a, a topic. Valuing is where you're internalizing the value of a topic. So that would be someone, you know, in Christian faith, making a decision to follow Jesus. Organizing is where, you know, following Jesus slowly reform their life, um, your life. So that's called in Christian circles, sanctification. So this topic has significantly changed the practice and characterize in, is where you're characterizing Jesus in your life. And that's ultimately the goal. Um, so what does that look like for emotional health or recovery or, or life balance in this course? So, you know, receiving is just you take this course. We're, we're trying to get you farther than that. So responding is you actively learn about emotional health and self-care and um, recovery, you know, on your own. And then valuing is where you're going to make decisions to significantly improve your emotional health, recovery, and um, self-care habits. Um, organization is where you're, you're following healthy habits slowly improves your overall emotional health. And then um, at the end is your characterizing emotionally healthy living in your life. And I would say holistically health, um, healthy living in, in your life. So that's on the heart level and the cognitive learning. Um, you know, many of you have taken courses with this before. So, you know, what you're doing there, and this is on the head, we're trying to get you to remember. And part of this is I'm trying to explain to you why we have the course designed the way it is. So, you know, we have these videos in, in reading and some of them overlap, but it helps you retain. Studies have been done that if you do both, you're gonna retain a lot better. And the goal is to get you to understand things and to apply it. Um, you're gonna be doing that in um, you know, forums and live meetings and then some worksheets. In the worksheets, you'll do a lot of applying and analyzing. And this is looking at all the, the pieces. You know? So if you're, you're taking something apart, this would be where you take you know, an engine apart and you look at all the pieces, right? And then evaluating and creating is where you as essentially assemble all the pieces together. It's called a synthesis. And that's what you're doing in your final project. So as you work on the worksheet, you know, you're going to be, there's a lot of questions on the worksheet. So go through them fairly quickly or, or else you're going to be overwhelmed, but then put a lot more thought as you're doing the final project. So, um, you know, in summary, what's different about this course is we're focused on changing behavior rather than cognitive learning. 
Um, there's going to be more video content. A, a lot of the video is we're, we're trying to be motivational um, and uh, it's often more current than what you're going to get from textbooks. There's four Zoom meetings to provide up more opportunities for peer support. Um, and we view recovery and life balance as one component of holistic spiritual health. And um, we follow this kind of interdisciplinary sociological model of holistic health um, that combines a lot of different factors. So, you know, why is this course called Wounded Healer? So, you know, we're, we're borrowing a term that was um, coined um, by, or I guess made popular the most by Henry Nouwen. And he has a, a quote, he, he wrote a book on this and he has a quote, um, nobody escapes being wounded. We are all wounded people, whether physically, emotionally, mentally, or spiritually. The main question is not how can we hide our wounds so we don't have to be embarrassed, but how can we put our woundedness in the service of others? When our wounds seem cease to be a source of shame and become a source of healing, we have become wounded healers. So this course is particularly designed for people who they acknowledge that they're wounded and they acknowledge that they're a wounded healer. So if you're in this course and you don't feel like you have deep issues, it may be the wrong course for you because that's kind of the assumption. So you, you may not characterize it as recovery. Our assumption in this course is that everyone is in recovery. And one of the quotes we use is that some people are, you know, should be in recovery, um, but they're in denial essentially. So, um, so the other thing about this course is the, the idea of learning, then doing, then teaching. You, may, you know, some people may be at the fairly early stages of their recovery. Some people are, are farther along. So, you know, the idea in this course is you learn, you get healing, then you do, you, you do some of the healing steps and then you teach. So that could be counseling or being a case manager, you know, if you work somewhere or just, you know, being a sponsor or something at, at um, you know, 12 step group. So that's part of the idea of this course. So no matter where you are in your cycle and, you know, if you're in the early stages or late stages of your recovery, this, this course can be helpful for you. Um, we've pulled together a lot of best practices. We've had, you know, probably 50 different addiction counseling faculty over the years with, you know, many of them have 20, 30, 40 years of experience. And we're building on that and all the textbooks and all the courses we've designed and synthesize that into um, this course, essentially. Um, so one of the, the videos we cover in this course comes from Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And um, it, it talks about expanding your personal um, circle of control. And he talks about these three different things. You have a circle of control, and that's where we should be focusing most of our effort. Then you have the circle of influence. And the idea is you want to expand that circle and then you have a circle of concern and um, you, you don't want to be focused there. So this, this kind of relates to the serenity prayer. So God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the circle of concern, the courage to change the things I can, which is largely the circle of control, but you're trying to also expand. There's some things you can't change today, but you might be able to um, change in the future. And there's other things that are influencing you that you can change. So, um, so, in summary, what this course is about is how do you expand your personal capacity for recovery? Um, and you know, your, your circle of influence is all these things that are around you. You can't control always, uh, say your, all your relationships, your support, not your, your job, your church, but you can kind of pick those or try to get, you know, say a better job or, um, you know, try to, to get involved in a healthy church or a healthy living situation. And those are things that you can get involved in. So that's kind of the summary of the, the idea behind this course is that we're trying to expand the circle and we'll use some diagrams that will show that. Now, the other thing about this course that's really important to recognize is a lot of people, um, you know, they're used to Western thinking and, and what's called linear academic knowledge. So there, just to use the example is, you know, you think about Jesus loves me. Well, you could have that in a quiz and you could have a yes or no question or just a checkbox and you say, yes, I acknowledge that Jesus loves me. But then there's a lifetime of getting the depth of understanding that, having that sink in, having it shape everything about your life and moving from kind of maybe a toxic self-image or something that might happen from, you know, background. Um, and, and how do you, you move from that? So a lot of the knowledge in this course is, is more in that category. You know, the, the Bible says that even the demon believes there's only one God. They believe that God's there. Um, they're just not following him. So um, Christian recovery and holistic Christian recovery is more 
of the Jewish approach to knowledge and rather than the Western thinking. So in this course, and what that is, is it's, it's cyclical. Um, and you'll, you'll talk about things and you'll talk about them again. And, and you're gradually trying to move to deeper knowledge. So you, you look at this idea of Jesus loves me. Well, you might, you know, have some sermons on that. And then you might have some worship songs out on that. And then you might have a few profound encounters. So in this course, the way it's going to work is you're going to have videos and then you'll get reading that will cover similar things and then discussion. And then you'll be living your daily life. And then you'll go to the workbook and Zoom meetings. And sometimes... Um, especially between, say, some of the discussion, Zoom meetings, workbook, and final project, we may talk about similar topics. But the idea of, say, for example, sharing your life story in you know one paragraph in the discussion, um, that's going to be very different than sharing it in a small group. And it's not like you shared it once um, and then you're done. You know, part of part of uh, you know sharing our, our recovery journey and and to recognize ourselves, you know, in our hearts as wounded healers is sharing that. And then the final project is where you're trying to synthesize this. Um, and the idea is we're trying to get the head, heart, and hands um, all kind of working together in that. So what that means in this course is there's going to be overlap between assignments, and that's intentional. So there's overlap between Zoom meetings, final project, worksheet, and discussions. Um, and that's, you know, how we've designed the course. So, and the idea is we're, we're doing that to try to sync things in, you know, where possible, we're trying to ask the questions a little bit differently. Um, but the idea is that as you do this, we want to see life change happening and we want you to kind of synthesize things in this final project. So hopefully this is all really helpful. I'm really excited about this course. Um, we have some great faculty for you. So if you have any questions, um, just ask them. Thanks a lot.